right, so I've been here about 20 minutes now. And this is the prime location where I scored a bunch of old coins last time. Um, and as you can see on top there, there is some shiny. It literally was about three inches deep. I flicked it over into this pile here. As you can see, it's 19.20, 10 cent. Not too bad. Seems to be in pretty good condition too. I don't want to rub this one too much. I'll clean her up when I get home. And if I find anything else, I'll see you guys on the next. All right, so it's been about an hour since the last uh, dime that I dug up, 1920 dime. And uh, this one was about uh, five, six inches deep, right in the pathway. Too much away here. Right dead center in the pathway. And it looks like I may have a silver, guys. Let's check it out together. Oh my goodness, guys. That's my first ever Vicky Silver. 1898 10 cent. Oh wow. What a beauty. That's what I came here for, guys, and that's what I got. Not too bad. If I find anything else, I'll see you guys on the next. Thank you for watching. All right, so just to show you guys, you got to work hard for your silvers. I haven't pulled any old silvers out of here, but... As you can see there, it was about three inches deep, bringing up a solid 81. Let's check it out, guys. I don't think it's too old. No. 1940. Not too bad. It's the third silver today. If I anything else, I'll let you guys know. See you on the next. All right, so I literally just got that silver dime there. I walk forward, I got an 81, similar reading right here, and about four inches deep. I may have just uncovered a union button. Check it out together, guys. Yeah, union station. Not too bad. That's a first for me. I don't know when this dates. I'm gonna guess early, early 19s. If anybody has an idea, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. It's a two piece. It says Union Station. Not too bad. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. See you on the next. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since that last silver dime. Bringing up a solid 81 under those roots. I pulled out a, lot, and a large set. It's a 1899 in great condition. So uh, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. See you on the next. All right guys, normally when I'm in areas like this, I won't check surface finds, but I know I've been in here through once with two other guys, and uh, I was getting a surface reading and right on top of that branch, it's a bloody Georgie Quarter. Can you believe it? To the air here. Nineteen thirty-four, Georgie Quarter. Not too bad. Go find anything else. We'll see you guys on the next. All 
All right, so I'm back. It's been about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I haven't picked up anything, but uh, this was mixed in with a bunch of square nails. I was hoping for the best. I kept picking through, kept picking through, and uh, at the bottom of the hole, about six inches, was my second one from this location. The date is pretty wiped, but it is a 1900 large scent. It's my second large scent of the day. I don't know if I'm gonna go any much longer, but uh, if I do, I'll see you guys on the next. If I don't, I will see you guys on the wrap up. All right, got four silvers and two LCs. Not a bad day. See you guys in the next. All right guys, so I'm walking through this brush here. I get an 81, 83 signal. I decided to dig it because I'm getting close to, to home time, I'm gonna say. And I don't know, but I think this may be the surface silver. I can almost make out George on the side there. Let's uh, let's see if it's an oldie. Yeah, bloody surface silver. That is George. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, 1943. Right on the surface. <coughs> How cool is that? All right, guys. If we find That's anything else, we'll let you know. Go. See you on the next. All right, so I'm digging on my lunch break. Bringing up an 88. It's not too deep at all, actually. And there's pretty much no doubt in my mind that's a silver rim. Managed to score my second silver. It's a little worn down, but I believe she's a 1937. It's a first for me, guys. I haven't got a 37 yet. King George VI on the back. And uh, I think that's my last hole. If I find anything else, I will uh, see you guys on the next. If not, I'll see you guys on the roundup. Alrighty, welcome back. You'll see I'm in the brush here. It's heavy and it's hard to swing, but uh, it pays off when you go in here. There's not too much trash and every high signal is usually something good. Um, I did find myself a 1940 silver dime. Not too bad. And I also didn't get to record it. And I got myself in 1929 one cent George V not too bad if I find anything else I'll let you guys know see you on the next all right guys so uh, you'll see all the brush that I'm trying to clear out here I had a couple people help me out at this location it's been pretty good for us but uh basically I got a 76 signal and it was literally about two inches deep pulled it out of the plug And I got myself a 1912 fish scale. Not bad at all. King George V on the back. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. See you guys in the next. Alright, so she was about 7 or 8 inches deep, bringing up a solid 81. And uh, still in the brush, as you guys can see running the uh, nail tornado coil on my uh, Garrett AT Pro with the uh, Garrett Carrot. Bomb a hole. I managed to pull out a 1918 large scent. King George V on the back. Not too bad. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. See you on the next. All right, guys, so uh, we got a serious bucket lister here. It was ringing up pretty low, actually. It was ringing up 81, but she was real deep underneath the root. And when I popped it out on the plug, on the shovel, you could see a big, big rim. Look at the size of that. I think I just got myself a half dollar, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I don't even want to rub it. 
a 1910. 1910. King Edward. Half dollar. I am ecstatic, guys. I'm so glad that I decided to go a little bit longer. I nailed myself a 1916 large cent as well. So we got a uh, 1937 dime, a 1912 fish scale, and a 1910 half dollar. Well, that's a first for me, guys. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. See you on the next. So what's the, uh, what's the good old saying they say? Like a deer in the headlights? That's what happens when you dig in the bush. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's a little bit of a windy day today. Anyway, she's been staring at me for the last five minutes. Alright, find anything else? Watch you guys know.